Yannick said a sec. Just wanted to uh, get up on here and uh, express my uh, serious appreciation for all your love and prayers that people have sent my way. I truly appreciate it. Uh, it's been a rough couple of days, man. You know, just dealing with this, with this uh, leukemia, the AML. And, uh, you know, yeah, it's been kind of rough. But uh, so many people has came through and they uh, uplifted my spirits. I got a special call today from uh, Miss Grant. And, uh, yeah, she said a prayer for me. And I was in mm -hmm. I was, it broke me down a little bit. And, uh, you know, it was a complete stranger. And uh, it just uplifted me. And we, we said a prayer over the phone. She called my hospital phone. You know, I'm going to have to put that number out. It's 916-474-8015. Uh, I'm in room 1115 at uh, Say that Roseville. Say that again. Uh, I'm in room 1115 at uh, Kaiser Roseville, and my the telephone number to my room is 916-474-8015. If okay, anybody would good. like to, uh, you know, uh, say a prayer or anything like that or give some positive feedback. Uh, anybody anybody like reached out phone. to you? Anybody uh, yeah, reached uh, out to you? Yeah, man, uh, a lot of people, especially one of the first ones that really reached out, man, was J415. And I want to give him a shout out, man. You know what I'm saying? From the bottom of my heart, man, he came with some real encouraging, uh, some words and sent me some pictures and gave me some good information, man. And, uh, you know, I felt that, you know, he didn't have to do that. And there's a couple people, uh, Isha, she got shout out, out yesterday, you know what I mean? Shout out the Ranch Mob, San Cal, everybody that's, you know, uh, that's just getting at me, man. And uh, it, it made me feel really, it made me feel love, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, during my time in need, um, I got family that's coming through. And it, it's really brought me back. Uh, today was very difficult. The drugs and the chemo was kicking in. Uh, I was down and out. And I was like, oh, I was like this, man. You know what I'm saying? And then I came back. I drank some water and some Gatorade and I got back. And, uh, I don't know, bro. I'm taking it one day at a time. And uh, it's all new emotions, new feelings for me. So yeah. uh, the thing that's helping me the most is the support and the prayers. And uh, people giving me encouraging words. And uh, it's keeping my keeping my heart strong and my head in a fight. It's like I that's got, uh, you know, I got uh, my boxing coach in the corner. You know, everybody's in my corner. And they just get me. Yep. I'm in the ring right now. You know what I'm saying? And they telling me to boom, boom, to bob, bob and weave. You know what I mean? Hit that jab. Yep. Hit that left hook. Hit that uppercut. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm doing, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave it to the man upstairs. And uh, maybe this is just going to be a new life for me to maybe help other people dealing with difficult times and yep. help other people <laughs> make better choices to improve their life. You know what I'm saying? So they don't have to deal with this shit, you know? Even so with, with that, prison, man, you know what I mean? Shit so like with, that. With that being said, the message has been, and I hope it will continue to be, see you tomorrow, man. See you tomorrow, man. See you tomorrow, man. Yes, sir. Never give up. Don't quit.